What up, YouTube? I'm back. So another great God of High School episode, and the way that the episode started was pretty unique. You know, it it was nurses that were talking about what's gonna come next in the episode. They talked about the next fight. Obviously, we saw since the beginning of the episode that the next fight was gonna be Daoi versus Mira, and the other fight was gonna be Mori versus another guy that I, we don't know right now. But obviously, they want. Uh, the show wants uh, to see Mori in the finals, you know, so it's going to be a Mori versus Dawi finals. We saw the result of the Mira versus Dawi fight at the end of the episode, but it was pretty cool, man. I really like the way that they started this week's episode. It was different. The way that this episode went was pretty surprising, you know, I didn't know that we would get a lot more Mira story, especially backstory about her, you know, so that was pretty surprising and pretty welcome because I really like her character and I even like her character more after this week's episode, but the episode basically started with an entertainer, I don't remember his name exactly, he basically asked Mira to mar marry her, and at first I really thought that she would say no, but she actually said yes, you know, because she wants her sword style to live, you know, and for that she needs to get married, I'm guessing, and that's what she thought at least at the beginning of the episode you know we saw some photos of her and her uncle and her cousin that is like a sister to her you know obviously her dad died when she was really really young so um her family the rest of her family was basically her uncle and her cousin her, her little cousin but yeah man she was getting married so that she could save the sword style that her father actually created I'm, I'm guessing and i really like uh her in her wedding dress you know she looked really really good i really like how they did, they did the art style and everything she, she looked good man that's all i'm gonna say but anyway obviously we all know that mori wasn't for that because she's actually competing in the god of high school tournament and because of all this wedding thing she was just abandoning everything that she was doing you know so obviously mori tried to stop the wedding uh, from happening now let's talk about the dude that she was gonna marry because he was actually part of the cult that we saw at the beginning of last week's episode we don't exactly know what this cult is but the leader of that cult told him to take the moon sword you know and to marry basically the hand that is wielding this sword you know so that's why he was trying to marry mira because of the moon sword and everything like that but obviously uh, the sword that he stole at the end of the episode is it really a moon sword it's, it's just a wooden sword you know so uh, it wasn't that important he didn't understand what the mission truly was in my opinion but this cult is pretty interesting you know we know nothing about it right now the only thing that we know is that uh the the dude that trained kang is part of this cult and that the this entertainer that tried to marry uh, mira was also part of this cult you know so that was all pretty interesting and it seems like this moon sword style is really really strong you know uh, from what we heard in this week's episode it seems like it's the it's the strongest sword style in the world so that's crazy but we'll have to see man i really like the way that mori and han entered you know the wedding you know it was really really cool the way that they just came in uh, f to stop mira's wedding i i really like that shot right there these two uh obviously are what some of the main characters but also some of my favorite characters so far and just the way that they entered the wedding was pretty damn cool you know but anyway we all know that mori was trying to stop the wedding from the beginning um he actually fought a little bit mira during the wedding because he was trying to make her realize that what she was doing wasn't really for her own good you know it, it wasn't making her happy so i really like that moment right there and then when she tried to hit uh, mori her uncle went between them you know so that he wouldn't be hit so i really like that moment right there 
uh, we saw her cry a little bit, you know, and because she realized that what she was doing wasn't right for her. So that's one of some of the things that I really liked about this episode because it was really focused on Mira and her story. So I really liked that. Obviously, because Mira canceled the wedding, you know, this dude from the cult was kind of mad and he did some kind of technique that one of the administrators did in last week's episode he had a big ass samurai as his weapon which was was crazy you know and it looked pretty cool but when he slashed uh, with his sword the samurai was doing the same thing you know so i thought that was pretty cool we still don't know a lot about that kind of power right now but i'm guessing that we're gonna learn uh, this power really really soon but uh yeah man he actually slashed mira and i'm guessing that mira uh, did that on purpose she let her being sliced on purpose so that she could go at uh, this dude and and pretty easily she was able to defeat him with her moon style um attack with only her hand you know because from what we've seen in the last few episodes she can really fight well with her hands and it's even stronger than when she fights with a wooden sword you know so i thought that was cool but she's really really strong man anyhow it was pretty cool to see her being this happy after the fight you know we never saw her smile like that in these episodes i think this is the sixth or fifth episode of the series so far and that's the first time that we saw her smile like that you know so there's been a lot of character development in this week's episode for mira you know and i really like that shot right there of mira han and mori you know their friendship is just growing and growing and finally she has some real friends that she can have happy times with so i really like that but yeah, I really thought that this week's episode was going to hand pretty happily, you know, with Mira, uh, Han, and Mori, you know, hanging out together. But it seems like Han actually lost his best friend later in the episode. And because of that, he was, you know, pretty mad at himself, I'm guessing, or mad that his friend passed away. Uh, he actually kind of destroyed some of the bullies that was bullying him for a while before he was just you know doing nothing and in this week's episode he actually beat them up pretty bad and then he had his fight against Mira and these two were kind of getting friendly you know they were friends and what he actually did was kind of destroy Mira pretty easily man she was bleeding a lot and I'm guessing that she was bleeding like that because of an injury that she had against uh, the cold guy but that was crazy man I really didn't see this coming because it was crazy the way that the episode just the the feel of the episode after what happened to Mira changed was crazy you know so we'll have to see what's gonna happen with Han now he's going in, in the finals against probably Mori we don't know how Mori's fight will go but we're assuming that Mori is gonna win and they have to talk about what the hell he did to Mira, you know, because she didn't deserve that. You don't, not, because you're mad, you, you don't have to hurt other people, you know. So it, it was kind of crazy what, what he did to Mira, but we'll have to see what's going to happen. But yeah, man, let me know what you thought about this week's episode in the comments down below. Let me know what you think is going to happen next. It was a great ass episode. Uh about mira basically and i loved it i do god of high school reviews every monday so subscribe for that but i also do other anime related things like uh one piece reviews and sword out online reviews on saturdays and then i do boruto naruto next generation reviews on sunday so stay tuned for all of that like comment subscribe it, it would help my channel a lot and follow me at anime specialist on twitter and instagram thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video Anime Specialist out. Peace.